The Boeing throttle lever handles that come with the Bravo throttle quadrant, as well as the flap levers and the speed brakes are absolutely tiny. Well, good news, Virtual Pilots, there are stores on Etsy where you can buy 3D printed replacements that are much larger and much more realistic in their size and scale. So I bought the Boeing 737 kit from the Flight Sim Factory store on Etsy. And I have to say my unboxing experience was much better than I expected. The levers arrived in a nicely presented box. There were clear instructions available via a QR code, which takes you to a nice setup video on YouTube. Every one of the handles was individually wrapped in some airtight plastic. The presentation was really thoughtful and my initial impressions of the quality of the product were very positive. Once I'd opened the airtight packaging, it was clear that all the items were 3D printed as expected. You could see and feel the fine indentations and grooves, but the plastic felt very sturdy. It felt like good quality. I wasn't concerned that anything was going to break or be fragile. I could immediately tell that these were going to feel much more realistic and even the reversers that come with the new kit are actually much bigger than the thrust handles that come with the Bravo throttle quadrant. The actual thrust levers themselves absolutely dwarfed the originals. The video instructions were nice and easy to follow and in no time at all I had the handles attached to my original thrust levers as well as the replacement reversers. For some reason, I expected that I was gonna to have to fiddle around with some kind of spring-loaded mechanism for the speed brake and for the, uh, for the flap handle, but all of this mechanism was already included in the levers out of the box, so there was no setup required there. These again were all 3D printed. They do come with detents for both the flap lever and for the speed brake. Again, 3D printed, but they did have some nice padded foam on there so that when you insert them into one of the spare axes on the throttle quadrant, it's a nice snug fit. It includes some 3D printed covers for the thrust levers that you're not using so you don't snag your hand on them. The flap and speed brake levers uh, attach nice and easily. There's a small peg uh, that you push uh, to make sure that they hold on uh, to the short stubby bit of the thrust lever that you attach them to. Um, the mechanism in the detents was, particularly for the flaps, a little bit stiff initially, and I did need to spend some time building up some muscle memory to get used to the technique of moving them backwards and forwards, but these were an absolute game changer in VR. My ability to be able to find the right uh, flap setting uh, that just improved exponentially. The fact that there are detents both on the bottom, but also at the one degree and 15 degree setting, some uh, some detents on the top as well, as of course you find in the real 737, made moving through larger ranges of settings, even in VR where I can't see what I'm doing, much, much easier to do uh, indeed. It, really was like night and day pushing the thrust levers forward with the extra large handles really did feel much more satisfying and because what you're feeling and seeing in virtual reality look and feel the same it really did deepen the immersion uh, much more than i was expecting actually i was genuinely uh, very impressed i'd always neglected the use of spoilers as something that was just too much of a pain to get the right setting on and could always work around it, just slow down sooner, stuff like that. But again, because this has got a detent system, made it nice and easy, I found myself using those uh, more and more and it's just really a doddle to get the right setting. Having to pull the flap lever up in order to find uh, the correct detent, again, massively deepening the immersion. It means that what you're feeling on your hand and what you're seeing with your eyes uh, marry it up. So you, you know, it really does sort of create that sense that you're there. Um, it, it really felt like an epic experience from an immersion perspective, but these things, they're not cheap. The full kit is around about 
a uh, hundred UK pounds. You can buy like just the flap lever or just the speed brake lever or just the throttle handles if you either just want to reduce the cost or if you want to buy them individually and spread the, the, the cost out over a period of time. But at hundred pounds for the full kit, that's nearly 50% of the cost of the Bravo throttle quadrant uh, itself. So it's not cheap. And truthfully, I have been umming and ahhing about whether to actually buy this kit for some time because hundred pounds for essentially what is a bunch of 3D printed stuff felt like quite a lot of money. However, Someone has had to research this, they've had to design it, they've had to print it and put it all together. It's, of course, an extraordinarily niche uh, product. Uh, I mean, flight sim is a bit niche, buying throttle quadrants is a bit niche, and then buying replacement parts for that is perhaps, again, yet more niche again. Um, so given, I guess, principally is going to be a relatively difficult to find product, um, perhaps maybe the uh, the value for money is not too bad. In the end, I have to say I'm a very satisfied customer. I am glad that I bought these. I did leave a five-star review. And what is really interesting and exciting is they have a wide range of other uh, throttle levers and handles available to buy, including the Pilatus PC12, which is very exciting giving, uh, given that SimWork Studios a version of that aircraft is going to be coming out uh, very soon. So if you're looking for a new aircraft, consider checking out this playlist. There's a smorgasbord of exciting content in there. As always, I hope you're very well wherever in the world you are. Stay safe in the skies and I will see you in my next one.